Uh, my head. What the hell? Johansson. Novak. Novak, come in. Great. That's just great. This is Pal. I read you. Listen, I'm injured. It's really bad. What? What is it? Man, this is bad. Just get to the cockpit as fast as you can. Uh, okay, hang in there. I'll be there in a minute. It's stuck. The computer must have tried to close it according to the atmosphere containment protocol when we crash landed. I hope the hull is intact. Broke it open with the wrench and released the valve. Wow, that that does look nasty. Right, listen, we need to get this rod out. The suit's meant to have concealed my wo wounds, so I'm alright for now. But you will have to patch up the holes in the suit after you've removed the rod. You'll need some glue for that, I guess. I think we might have something in the cargo bay. Hurry up, all right. And everything shut down after the crash. So I ran it. Tried to get the power back online. And reboot the mainframe. I'll get on it. I'll monitor your progress. On the helmet cam. Radio me when you need help. Thanks, Novak. That's still captured to you. Yeah, make me say it. Ah, oh, just get to work. There, I've tightened the screws. Wait, that should have turned off the safety, and the conduit should be humming with power. Initiating bootstrap of mainframe. Warning, main reactor offline. Currently operating on auxiliary power. Finally. Nice job, pal. Computer, determine cause of course deviation. Course compromised due to an extreme gravitational anomaly. Specified source of anomaly. Shockwave regression analysis paints a source of anomaly on the second planet of the Beta C Igni system. Specify our current location. Beta C Igni 2. Wow, we're on Dead Rock? The Dead Rock? Looks like it, yeah. Well, that's just fantastic. Of all the inescapable places in the galaxy, we had to end up here. I admit, it sounds pretty bad. No, this is way worse than bad. We're on the one planet that no one's ever returned from. Even the UN has declared this place off-limits. Well, you're right. But there's nothing we can do about it now. Computer, damage report. Main reactor offline. Engine 1 and 3 offline. Hibernation chambers 1 and 2 offline. 
hibernation chamber 3 non-functional. Hull breaches detected in cockpit, medical room and cargo bay. Carbon dioxide concentration in ship exceeding toxic levels. Wow. That's all? Ah, it's not as bad as it sounds. Yes, it is. No, listen. We might have a chance to get out of here after all. We still have one engine intact, and the thrusters seem to be working too. But you need to see what's wrong with the hibernation system and seal those breaches. Go and check the CO2 filter in the med room. It hurts like hell when I try to move, so I'll just stay here. But I tried to scan the planet's surface for life signs. There's a syringe inside. It's full of fine leather jackets. The containers are blocking the way to the back of the cargo bay. They must have fallen down during the crash. I can't move them by hand. That's no use. I managed to get the rod out and seal the suit, but I don't think he'll be able to move anytime soon. His suit's med hack needs to take care of his wounds again. I'll just leave him here to rest for now. Oh yeah, and I broke the syringe in the process. Sorry about that. I moved the containers out of the way with the steel rod.
hibernation chamber 3. I can't remove the tube with that. I've poured the beer down the drain. It's filled up, and now there's something floating in it. What a waste of a perfectly horrible can of beer. screwed the tube. There's an adapter piece underneath it. That was pretty easy. That turned off the ventilator in the medical room. The gas mask will serve as a temporary CO2 filter. I'll just have to turn the ventilation back on again. The readout says that the CO2 levels are starting to normalize throughout the ship. 
It's an endless desert. Why do spaceships always crash land on desert planets? Why couldn't we have crash landed on a tropical beach planet? There's a small crack behind that bulkhead. The glue has sealed the breach almost instantly. There's a small crack behind that bulkhead. The glue has sealed the breach almost instantly. There's a small crack behind that bulkhead. The glue has sealed the breach almost instantly. Did you get that, Novak? Yeah. It looks like the nutritional fluid is shot to hell. It must have been the extreme gravitational forces. We'll have to replace the fluid somehow. Have you seen all the sand out there? I doubt there's anything living on this dead rock. Ah, uh, I think I get the name now. That doesn't really help us, you know. But I've been able to scan the surface, and I found another vessel that has crashed. It's not too far. Were they caught in the same crap we were? How am I supposed to know? I don't even know why we crashed. I detected no life signs, so it must have been a while ago. Anyhow, you'll have to visit that other ship. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I've been unable to jumpstart the reactor. There's just not enough juice. Plus the computer says that the plasma injector is fried in engine two. Damn, it looked like it was okay. The good news is that the other ship is emitting a standard military distress call. So it's probably a military ship, which means compatible parts for us. I never thought that one day I'd actually appreciate your enthusiasm for all things military. See? Anyways, see if you can find some replacement for the hibernation fluid, and a spare injector for the engine. And we'll need some extra power, so take that empty fuel cell from engineering with you, if you haven't already. Is that all? And uh, get me a cheeseburger while you're at it. Okay, bow out. Large fries. Bow out. Diet cola. Knock it off, you stupid son of a bitch. I heard that. I know. Now let me get to work. The control panel that opens the rear loading door is acting up. The circuit must have been overloaded when I restored power to the ship. Maybe I can override it. I have overridden the controls with the electric wires, and the control panel is now working. Open, says me. This is Novak. I see you're about to go out into the desert. Now listen. Try to take care of yourself. You're my only chance of getting off this planet alive. I appreciate your honesty. 
Now, do you have anything to say, or did you just call to piss me off? Just a recap of what we need. A full energy cell and a spare injector for the reactor. Plus some sort of replacement for the nutritional fluid of the hibernation system. I knew all that. You really do like to play captain, don't you? I don't have to play it. I am the captain. Okay. I uploaded the coordinates of that other ship to your suit. Plus some terrain data. Okay, thanks. I'll get back to you when I have something. Pal out. It looks like the sand contains high concentrations of salt, Peter. Bow to Novak. Yes, what is it? Are these coordinates right? I don't see a shipwreck here. No, you're still several clicks off. Oh, come on, man. Where am I, then? Hang on. I'll check the terrain data. Uh-huh. It looks like there's a gorge that's several miles long. You'll have to get across it in order to reach that ship. Can I go around? Nah, that would take days. Try to find a path that's not too deep. Or build a bridge for all I care. Just get across. <laughs> Easy for you to say. Just figure something out. Will do. Pow out. I can't use the map that way. I've placed the CO2 filter with the gunpowder in it at the base of the pillar, deep in the sand, and then packed it down with several large boulders. Wow, I must admit, I did not expect that to work. Novak, are you seeing this? Yep, looks bad. It seems to have been ripped apart. It's possible they were caught in the same gravitational disturbance as we. But this looks like a Taurus class cruiser, the big sister of our morning star. Yeah, about that anomaly, did you scan for it? Yep, but the computer is unable to pinpoint its location. All we know it's somewhere on this planet, and we need to get rid of it to take off. Otherwise, we'd be doing this all over again. Got it. I'll take a look around inside. Maybe I can find out what happened to these people.
That shot has melted the control panel and the control mechanism behind it, but the door is still closed. I think I'll have to force it open. I managed to force the door open with the rod. Without the hydraulics holding it in place, it was relatively easy. Hmm. This log contains the coordinates of a camp in that canyon. I've removed the coupling. The plasma injector is still there. Whatever I do, I'd better do it on the other pylon. The cable is tied firmly to the pylon. I can now rappel down, but the cable's only long enough to get me down to the ledge below. This log mentions a distress call that one of their crew sent out from a crater. That should put the source in this area. Nothing there. Its lid is all bent up and crooked. It looks like it took a shot or was dropped from up high. I can't open it by hand. The rod is too thick, it doesn't fit into the shovel head.
I have located a distress beacon at that small crater. I have tied the rope around the boulder. I have activated the plasma flare and have thrown it down over the edge. I hope there's enough light down there now. The scanner's picking up gravitational fluctuations from the other side of the door. I need to get inside to find out more. I've attached the armed detonator to the door and started the countdown, but I'd better go a bit further away before the blast. Novak, this is Pal. Do you read? You're breaking up a bit, but I hear you. I might be onto something. I found a large structure, with a generator inside. It's huge, and it's making me feel dizzy. Something's wrong with the gravity in here. 
I think this might be the source of the anomaly, an immense gravity well or something. I've been scanning the surface for hours, but I found nothing. I think this is putting out a lot more than our sensors can handle. Ah, I see now. This gravitational thing is confined like a tunnel, and both we and the Armstrong went through it. I think we might have skimmed it, but they got torn right in half. Listen, I'll plot a safe course and set up the autopilot to get us out of here. Plot that course, and I'll get back to you as soon as I have the power cell plus the hibernation fluid. I'll disable this gravity generator just in case our tunnel theory is wrong. I hope these weird stone heads won't mind. They look creepier and creepier. Actually, they look just like you, Novak. Just shut up and get to work. Holy crap, that looks like a human skeleton floating in there. The symbols displayed on this unit look different from the other ones. The rest of the units seem to be running, but this one is switched off and it's empty. It's two alien symbols. I think they show the status of the cylinder. This unit seems to be running. It's three symbols. Nothing.
nothing. It's three symbols, similar to those I've seen on the consoles. The symbols displayed on this unit look different from the other ones. The rest of the units seem to be running, but this one is switched off and it's empty. Nothing. 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 The symbols displayed on this unit look different from the other ones. The rest of the units seem to be running, but this one is switched off and it's empty. That's odd. Only one planet in this system? Hmm, that's odd. Only one planet in this system? Hmm, I wonder what these guys want with Earth. A chamber just went offline in the back. I've had enough skeletons for one day, thank you. Besides, it looks like all his stuff is packed underneath him. Hmm, there's a log entry on this card about a star system with a single planet. At mission time, 0850. Nothing.
I wonder if this is the planet that was mentioned in the log of the Armstrong's captain. I think I heard a cylinder go offline somewhere in the room, but I can't see it from here. managed to turn off the power. The console is still on, so it must have a backup power source. This thing has a lot of power. Maybe I can store it somehow. powers back on. I have turned off the power. turned off the gravity well. A crystal lowered itself from the generator. Yes? What is it? I think I've got a problem here. What did you just do? Um, I shut off the gravity generator. Why? Sensors just picked up airborne objects. I think you pissed off someone or something in there. I think they sent out drones to do recon over the area. How many are there? I don't know. A few dozen. Did they spot you? What's their trajectory? I don't think they've located the ship. Thank God we're on auxiliary power. Otherwise, they would be all over me by now. Hang on. I got visual. Yep, they're flying drones. They're ignoring the ship, so we're good for now. But I don't know how we're gonna take off with these things in the air. They don't look too friendly. 
Well, they aren't. We've seen the damage they can do. Remember that camp? Right, so now what? You can't even get back to the ship. I don't know. Give me a few minutes. I'll try to figure something out. Okay. It's a miracle they can't pinpoint my radio signal. Just lay low. I'll call you soon. Novak, are you seeing this? The Stoneheads are the drones. What? Then get out of there, quick. Hang on. I don't think it wants to attack me. In fact, I don't think it can even see me. Hey, then maybe none of them can detect you. You can walk back to the ship after all. Sure. Would you take that bet? No way. Nor would I, so I'll have to find another way to get back. And we have to figure out how to take off with all the drones in the air. Right. I'll try to think of something. Pal out. It's a massive steel door, and it's shut, of course. opened the panel. I've disconnected the wires, but the ventilator is still running. I guess this is just a monitoring circuit. I'll need to override it somehow to stop the ventilator. I've overridden the ventilator's controls with the drone's controller, but the ventilator is still running. It looks like the board has power now, but it needs to send the appropriate commands to the ventilator's systems. I guess I should program it somehow, but there's no buttons on it. I've worked out which pins I need to bridge, and have attached two wires to each one. Now I can send command codes to the ventilator's systems. It's displaying an alien symbol. the ventilator is stopping. Novak, check this out. It looks like a hangar or a repair facility. Probably. I don't think these drones are operational. I think I'm safe in here for now. That's great, but sooner or later you need to get back here somehow. Well, walking back is out of the question. I wish I could fly back to the ship like them. Hang on. Maybe you can fly back. Say what? Well, this is a long shot, but can't you take one of those drones and fly back here? Wait. Do what now? How big are these things? Uh, about three meters tall. I think you could fit inside. No. Novak, this is crazy. No. It's perfect and elegant. You just mingle with the rest of them and fly straight here. It's the perfect disguise. Okay, I admit it, it sounds good. But trust me, 
it looks a lot more difficult from where I'm standing. Well, that's kind of your problem. Appreciate the empathy. Do you have a better idea? Well, n no. Well then? Okay, I'll see what I can come up with. Pow out. There's an entrance to a hidden room behind these heads. scan this drone, and if I'm reading this thing correctly, they are vulnerable to EM discharges. Novak! What's up? Look at this. This drone received a high-energy electromagnetic shock, and it knocked out its power supply. I think we can exploit this. Hang on a second. Let me check something with the computer. All right, I've got it. We can use one of the damaged engines on the morning start to create an EM pulse. The right engine still has some plasma in its buffer. Polarize it, and there's your EM pulse. Okay, but how do we trigger it? I haven't got that figured out yet. Anyway, you still need to get back here first. So we've still got time to think about that. Well, alright. But let me know if you have something. Pow out. Holy crap, this corpse is not human. It looks like it was stabbed to death. It's still warm, so it must have happened recently. Uh-oh, that means that whoever did this could still be around. Graph displays electromagnetic radiation and power output versus time. Everything looks normal. I've installed the energy cell. I've removed the weapons to make room for myself in the drone. That's not going to control the drone servos. I made some modifications, bridged the connections, and installed the servo controller. It's a mess, but it'll do the job. I hooked the makeshift scanner to the drone's systems. It's crude, but I think I'll be able to home in on our ship's location.
I managed to separate the two wings of the door. Finally! I pushed the stone head outside on the trolley. Novak, I'm back. Get ready for takeoff. Hey, you made it. Are you alright? I'm fine, but I might have alerted the drones to our presence by breaking formation, but I don't know for sure. Don't start up the engine until I'm done with everything. I'll detach the engine from the ship so we can eject it after takeoff. Does the ejection system work? Luckily, yeah. Alright, I'll repair the main engine, repair the reactor, check to see if the algae sample can be used in the hibernation system, and detach the right engine. Sounds great. See you soon on board. Did you hear that, Novak? We can use this stuff to recultivate the nutritional fluid in the hibernation system. Sounds great. Keep at it. We're almost out of here. It ain't broke anymore, so I won't fix it. The engine doesn't need that part. I have installed the fuel cell. The reactor is ready to kick in. I have installed the plasma injector. The engine is ready to fire. It's beyond repair. I use the welding tool to separate the engine from its supports. Now it's ready to eject into space. No act pal. Yeah? I've compiled the flight control interface while you were working. But I still can't move, so you'll need to hook up a touch screen in front of me, so I can fly the ship manually. Yeah, about that. Still no idea how I'm gonna pull that off. Oh, crap. Now what? The drones just changed course. They're closing in on us. Get to the cockpit and install that screen. We need to take off now. I'm on my way. There. Finally. Initiating launch. Wait. What about the damaged engine? We'll eject it as planned. What's the point? There's no way to detonate it. There's no time for this. They're coming. Worst case, the engine will distract them. Well, 
It's it's a long shot, but uh hang on, what if I take a shot at it once it's jettisoned? Do whatever you want. I'm taking off. Alright. I'm gonna get back to engineering. Try to keep it steady, will ya? Fine, just go. Novak, I'm ready. Hit it. Finally! You son of a bitch. Throttling up. Get me a cold beer. 